in the last decade something that has really changed in terms of traveling something which has made it extremely easy is the gps it tells us exactly where we are where we are headed what are the possible obstructions that we might encounter along the way well, that's something which has really helped us very similar to that is a tool in the neurosurgical or called the neuro navigation machine so how does neuro navigation work what we do is before the surgery the patient is scanned with an mri and a ct scan with neuro navigation protocol once this scan is done the scan is fed into the machine and whenever the patient is taken in the ot again the patient registration is done where we register the patient's uh, anatomical details with uh the images available on the neuro navigation machine and soon the machine picks up uh the coordinates and after a while as we move the probe over the patient it will tell us exactly where we are on the patient's body why do we need neuro navigation now brain is a solid structure at times when the tumors are deep seated there is no ways of telling from the surface where the tumor is it becomes extremely difficult to local that's the point where a neuro navigation tool is extremely useful second place is to know about the vital structure so if you have the carotid artery is going right next to the tumor and if you have a probe we will know how close we are to that artery that will help us in preventing damage so this is more of prevention is better than cure instead of damaging an artery or a nerve and then repairing it it is always better that we don't damage it in the first place now i come to the last point where do we use it in neurosurgery so we use it both in the brain and the spine so in the brain especially when we have a very tiny lesion and we want to do a biopsy it is an extremely useful tool so we can do it with a small burr hole so we just need a small tissue to be picked up and it send us precisely there Second is if you want to remove a small tumor, but it is again deep seated. So if you want to plan the opening, and we want the opening to be a very small, a minimal invasive approach, yes, our neuro navigation tool is extremely useful. The third would be when you are operating the skull base. This is one place where it is extremely useful. When you are when you are going through the nose, so this neuro navigation probe will tell us exactly where we are because there are a lot of bony structures there, and behind the bone, behind the bone. kind of uh, masked uh, by the bone would be vital nerves vital blood vessels any damage to them would be catastrophic so when we have a neuro navigation probe we can actually point exactly to where we are know where these vital structures are and try and avoid them or if you want to go and reach them reach them too apart from that even when we talk about spine surgery especially when we have to insert screws into the spine transpedicular screws uh, we want to do it without damaging any neural structures a neuro navigation combined with uh, an instrument which helps us in guiding these screws in the right direction would be a spine robot so so that's it on 3.0 three points about neuro navigation tool an extremely important tool in the neurosurgical or which helps us make neurosurgery safer faster and more in sync with the times we live in thank you